I never forget. I used to teach knife throwing in the army. I always do a knife, you know, and uh, bayonet throwing. So I'm standing there in the front yard of this house on Smiley Drive, throwing my knife. I threw underhand <clears throat> into this tree. I guess about 10 paces away, and I go get it, and I'm throwing, and Al is inside the house. And the next thing I know, I notice a brother coming with a bad natural, and he had this sister with him. This was one of the most beautiful sisters I had. <laughs> she had a woolly bully. And they was coming down the walkway, because it had a cyclone fence in between the sidewalk. And so I'm, you know, waiting to speak. I'm from down home. I'm going to speak to you, you know, but I'm doing what I'm doing. So when I throw, and they come in, he, as I notice he's coming in, and I'm kind of looking at Marva, that was her name, this fine sister with the mini skirt. But the brother, he goes to my knife, and he pulled it out the tree. And he come back to me, he smiled, looked at him, and I'm, we had no words will ever pass. By then, Al Jackson is standing on the porch, looking, smiling. And I don't say nothing. I, you know, he spoke maybe, uh, you know, but Bunchy came back to where I was standing and threw that knife over his shoulder and landed almost exactly where I had thrown that knife. And I smiled and walked up and went and got the knife and pulled it out and I walked, came back to him, took two paces back further. Now all this is happening without us saying nothing. Ask how. A bunch of go get the knife, come back two paces where I was at, threw it, and it bounced because the knife came toward Marva. And that's when the silence was broken. We all started talking. And Al said, Hey, you finally met. And that's when I, the Donna went, Oh, this is Bunchy. This is who I'm supposed to meet. That's how we met. 